Doug. Congratulations, Mr. Secretary. So, what program? I'd go CRT, Combined Reconnaissance Team. SEALs, 60% dropout rate. No woman's gonna last a week. I don't care who she is. Then I suggest we start there. Where is she, anyway, in the training, this woman? Mr. Secretary, we'll have that information for you before the night's out. It's my understanding, sir, that she just finished the PT phase of her training. She made it through Hell Week. Won't last one week, huh? So have you been monitoring this situation for us, Commander? In the more academically oriented evolution, she's receiving better marks than most. Plus, she's outlasted 40% of her peers. With dual standards. Actually, no, sir. She's been going head-to-head -head with the men for some time now. So she's lasted eight? Weeks, that's wonderful. Joan of Arc made Supergirl. With SEER training coming up next week, sir. Commander, we'd like to see more detail in your reports. Let's include more background information. Past training reps, medical history, any grievances she may have previously filed. Understood? Um, actually, not completely, sir. Am, am I being asked to provide ammunition against this woman in case the outcome isn't what the Navy expects her? Absolutely not. We're simply documenting as thoroughly as possible in the event this turns into a legal matter. Don't read anything Machiavellian into it, Commander. I'll try not to, sir. Take your leave, Commander. Thank you. Loganville, Wilmington, Coronado, Bedsford. This is deeper than we thought. Look at Texas. I count four, no, five bases. We may not have to suffer to Haven much longer. She stands to lose 6,000 military, 4,000 civilian jobs, maybe 350 million in lost revenue per annum. Re-election, six months off. The DOD's put her out of business.